the show. Now for more comedy. Rape kits, a traumatizing invasive medical procedure for collecting evidence and then collecting dust as they sit around untested for years. There are an estimated 400,000 rape kits just sitting in evidence rooms from across the country that have never been tested for DNA samples. And those kits can be used to convict or acquit suspected rapists. More than 12,000 rape kits were untested in the city. Thousands of rape kits going untested in our state. At least 2,234 kits that have not been tested in Oregon. There are more than 2,000 untested rape kits across Virginia. And in Texas, we had over 20,000 untested rape kits. Oh my God, we get it, Texas. Everything's bigger there. God, give it a rest. <laughs> You're not auditioning for Hoarders Rape Kit Edition. <laughs> Look, is there anything worse than putting a woman through a four-hour rape exam and then just stuffing the evidence in a closet? Of course there is. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Department destroyed some of its untested kits and had plans to destroy more. Out of the 333 rape kits destroyed by the Fayetteville Police Department to make space in the evidence room, 167 of them are tied to unresolved cases. Under current law, the state destroys the kits unless survivors file for an extension. Oh my God, stop, 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 stop. Okay, you guys are taking the Marie Kondo method a little too far. <laughs> Does this rape kit spark joy? No. Into the trash it goes. Thank you for your service. You want to see a map of the states where police can legally incinerate your rape kit before the statute of limitations expires? <laughs> You're looking at it. It's all of them. But here's the good news. Bipartisan laws are finally being passed at federal and state level to chip away at Rape Evidence Mountain because catching rapists is the one thing everyone can agree on. Well, almost everyone. The eyes are 160, the nays are zero. Despite passing unanimously in the House, the Pursuing Justice for Rape Victims Act will never reach the Senate floor. That from Senator Renee Unterman. She chairs the committee that killed it. If there was a problem, I would be Johnny on the spot, and I would have written the legislation. Excuse me, I just have to consult my feminist rule book. Oh, here we are. No rape jokes, and don't be mean to other women. Oh, thank you for your service. <laughs> Woman, have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> pissed that someone else wrote the law instead of you? Or are you in the pocket of big rape? I don't know. <laughs> if the Confederate clown car that is the Georgia House could come together on this bill, who are you to block it? Please, explain yourself. We received the federal grant, the $2 million grant, and uh, the issue's being re resolved, and there's no reason to write a law just because it makes you feel good. Feel good? I don't normally turn my frown upside down by showing a lab tech an envelope of pubes. Look, <laughs> Renee, that grant money will run out long before Georgia runs out of rapists. You never even caught these guys. That was 40 years ago. Who knows how many Ned Beatty's he's raped since then? Renee may not believe in the rape kit bill, but at least she believes rape exists, unlike Idaho Sheriff Craig Rowland. I believe the legislature needs to take a strong look at um, allowing law enforcement to do their job and not try to dictate what we need to do. They need to let us decide if we're going to send the kit in and when we send the kits in. Roland says after interviewing an alleged rape victim, police often find it was not actually rape. Things just went too far and someone got scared. Things went too far and someone got scared. That's what rape is! Okay. Okay, person in charge of enforcing laws, wanna try again? The majority of our, our rapes that are called in are actual consensual sex. It's a 17-year-old girl and she had consensual sex with her boyfriend but didn't know how to tell her parents. What does it do to her partner? Listen, you giant pink hamster fetus of a man. 
I'm sure the thought of actually heaving your ass out of that chair and chasing a criminal is exhausting. <laughs> you can believe women are lying whores all you want when you're off the clock, but when you're the sheriff, you have to listen to rape victims. Otherwise, when the women in your county rise up and strangle you with your own stupid monogram shirt, it's gonna be consensual <laughs> assisted suicide because you're definitely asking for it. <laughs> boys who were confused about consent that one time, they're serial rapists. And testing old rape kits is how you catch them. This report points to New York City where 17,000 unsubmitted kits were tested. That ultimately led to the prosecution of 200 cold rape cases. We've gotten almost 100,000 hits so far. We've connected the information from the, from the rape kit with someone already in the system. This has allowed us to close numerous cases. See? Testing these kits is actually making your job easier. What more do we need to do? Put a toy surprise in there like a Cracker Jack box? <laughs> Luckily, the Idaho legislature unanimously consented to this bill. So let's all thank all the legislators who are passing bipartisan laws to prevent future rapes, despite, frankly, bewildering opposition from a few. By the way, um, nobody is running against either of these ding-dongs in November because we don't care about local politics. So remember, local elections are a lot like rape kits. No one really wants to pay attention to them, but if you bother to open them up, you might just get rid of someone who's been screwing everyone in town. We'll be right back.